Brad Larson, real estate broker and founder of RentWorks San Antonio. In this video, I want to talk to you about our tenant screening procedures. So once an application comes in, we run that tenant through quite a bit of screening procedure criteria, looking to make sure everything makes sense, making sure we get the best quality applicant for your home. And these are some of the things we're looking for. We're looking for credit history, of course. We get a credit history score. We analyze that to see kind of how they fit into this situation where they want to rent the home. Uh, we also look for employment verification and employment history. So we do verify their employer. And we also look at the history of their employment, which ties into their credit. Because as we sometimes say, credit is king, but it does depend on a few other things that go alongside with that. And of course, we verify their income because they may not even have a job necessarily. They might be retired. They may be living off of a trust fund. So there's, there's things that we have to verify to make sure that their income is going to match and meet that criteria for the home. We typically ask for three times the amount of income to guarantee that particular monthly rent. So also, we look for rental verification and history. So we verify what they've rented in the past. We look at their rental history and see if they've had no late processes, they've had no evictions. All that's going to happen through the background check. And we also do a criminal background check as well, just to make sure that if they've had any issues in the past, we look at that and address it. It does not necessarily automatically pre, uh, 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 let's say, doesn't disqualify them because of any sort of background with a criminal history. But we take a look at that in, in a raised eyebrow situation to make sure what their criminal history was. Uh, so for example, just real deep, uh, we've denied folks for several DUIs because if they get another DUI, driving while intoxicated, driving under the influence, they're gonna go to jail for a long time. But if there's somebody who had a, a marijuana charge from 15 years ago, that may not be worth turning them down, especially a good applicant with good credit. So those things we take with a grain of salt. And last thing, of course, we make sure that we verify the animal criteria with them. Look at the kind of pets they're bringing in. Uh, if they do have service animals, that's also another sticky subject is because sometimes we do have to go ahead and approve a service animal. Sometimes we ask for more verification. So it really kind of depends on that particular applicant situation with the animal that they want to bring in. And of course, we do the terrorist database search just to make sure they're not on some sort of watch list with some of the feds and making sure that they're going to be good tenants for your home. So these are just some of the basics that we go through in a screening application process. Should you have any further questions, feel free to reach us at 210-497-8686. Thanks and take care.